Welcome back everyone! This is Dragon in White and let me just bring my face in focus here. Wrong button. There we go. Welcome back everyone! This is Dragon in White here and we are back with another episode of Amazing Cultivation Simulator. This time for this episode, we are finally going to embark on the actual game. No more tutorials. We have cleared all of that and I'll be honest, I am feeling terrified. The tutorial is so long that I honestly barely remembered everything and given that you know it took me a while to go through that and the last time I played it was like what two weeks ago or so it is rather scary so let us jump in to story mode I think or about well, classic mode at least this means this means classic mode it says uh, start a journey of cultivation that belongs to you clicking this it brings you into um, a few options. I'm just going to leave it at default. Let me see. This is the seed, which goes by numbers. Uh, I think this is the map size, yes. And this is a true immortal mode, which it claims that it has the most complete game experience. And we'll have a fixed difficulty. There's only one save for it. And it is isolated from other save, I think. Um, it will record statistics and accomplishments. And it will hide some of the notifications. Let's see. Uh, True Immortal Mode will also test the player's um, understanding of the game. And it's only suitable for an immortal. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do this mode for now. Honestly, I am a bit overwhelmed. Game difficulty, live at 100%. Uh, difficulty of uh, tribulations, normal. Fighting difficulty, normal. Living difficulty, low, which is default. Um, foundational emotion, high. Well, this is the default anyway. Uh, game speed. So, effectiveness of work, it says fast here, but uh, basically it's just 1.5, but this is the default, I'm not changing it. Uh, cultivation speed, fast. Uh, experiential training speed, fast. Comprehension, uh, depletion, little. And this one's here, work effectiveness. Uh, was it? No, wait, sorry. Uh, frequency of work kind of thing. So, this is um, how frequent work happens, so uh, things happen, events happen, so this is every two days. Um, chances of two things happening at one time, medium, so 20% according to this. Chances of three things happening at one time, also medium, which is 10%. And chances of nothing happening, none. Was it? No, wait, Lun, Lun Kong. Uh, well, sorry, not nothing happening, but Lun Kong. I'm not too sure what this means, but we'll see soon. Uh, we can even go into more specific details, but I shall ignore you know, that for now. And let us jump right in. I am absolutely terrified of this at the moment. I can't even remember what to start off with. I think, you know, get wood and water and stuff. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, cool. I can create my own character. Oh, uh, chances of uh, reincarnation. That's the last one or something. So does that mean the characters I create get to reincarnate over time? Okay, let's start with this one. Okay, Sassy, he's a scholar. Okay, this is the spiritual sense 5, foundation 6, charm 5, comprehension ability 5, for tutors encounter 5, well I think it's luck, more of luck 5, potential 5.18, 5.18 actually, it's uh, born, his, his background, he, uh, it's a childhood, he experienced a complete uh, education, giving him 
he has a private education, I believe, and it gave him a lot of knowledge and also giving him a more scholarly feel to it. Uh, previously, he was a member of a tribe from the plains and he has very good vision from the start and henceforth he has been given the job of a shepherd. Um, he's very cautious when and when when he takes it, does his duty and aside from preventing the animals from going lost, he has to defend against wild animals as well and this made him very nimble. Nothing special about him. Now let's see. I can change his look. Yeah, I like this. Word. Nope, he needs... Oh, I can change both. What? What if I do this? Ha! <laughs> he cannot... He can't see in that case. Yeah, I think this works. Uh, nose. I like this nose. Oh, this one. There. Too big. Um, okay. That. Nope. Don't really want marks. No marks for him. Uh, oh, okay. This is nice scar. And that will do. Okay. He is good with mining. Mining, farming. This is mining. 16, farming, 22. Uh, building, I think. And this is carpentry. Uh, I'm not too sure what this is again, but this is arts. Uh, oh, no, sorry. This is, uh, what, charisma? The arts. Cooking, I believe. Um, grinding herbs. Uh, medication stuff. Uh, uh, combat. Um, sensitivity to, to chi. Fighting skills. And... Equipment or thoughts? Okay, I think this is good. Okay, and we need to choose an experience and we've got five points of experience. Okay, I don't like this. This is like a smartphone kind of control. See that? Okay, so I got five points and... Oh, okay, let's see. This gives you additional points. Ah, I see. These various things give you various increase in skills. Uh, honestly, this is going to be quite uh, lengthy if I have to go through all of them. So I'm just going to pick one. Um... Since this has a star, I'll take it. This is the Three Suns Big Disciple. Uh, This one is a uh, determination to um to build foundations. Oh, I can only pick can I? Oh, okay, this is the uh, inheritance. So what inheritance I'm choosing? Okay, let's start with this then. I think this might be good. Um Okay, let's see. I think this one is good. This is to get a secret manual for rescuing people. Hmm. I still got two more points.
Okay, I'm going to pick uh, this one. Basically, this says that I was once a disciple that takes care of the kind of a library thing. And over time, I have recorded some of the secret manuals in there. And there we go. Okay, and that is good. So let's enter again. I think this is my other two characters which I can get, I think. Um, but let's not alter those two, I think. Just one will do. I'm thinking this is probably going to become the main... The, the main... Disciple. Several days after escaping from death. Let me just check something. Oh wait, there is some. Okay, so uh, woo, what is this? Okay, I can see the comprehension tree. This is my path of cultivation. Um, human flame realm, earth flame realm, heavenly flame realm, divine flame realm, and these are the attributes. Whoa, there's not much required on potential. Okay. Let's see. One of the true incantations of the Taiyi Sex uh, 5 element, it uses the three kinds of Yang, Shao Yang, uh, Yang Ming, and Tai Yang. Uh, sorry, no, these are not elements. These are meridians, uh, acupoints on the body to uh, form the three, three flames of the body and there's nothing it can burn uh, there's nothing it can't burn and have extremely strong destructive power however the cultivation process is very dangerous once you um, take a misstep I think the true flame can rebound on you and even destroy your mind okay let's see the tree I learned this to, you know, make sure you can heal people. Okay, okay. Now let's see, what do I do? Uh, okay, let me change a bit of my screen because it's a bit dark. There we go. Within a few days, uh, you move, when you move during the night, you finally escape to a secret hidden mountain and just when you were about to relax a beam of light suddenly descended and a cultivator appeared the mysterious cultivator says i am old friends with your sack master uh when the tai sack suffered from the disaster, I came immediately when I heard the news. However, it was already too late. However, the heavens... Hmm. Okay, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, heaven is merciful or something like that and will not uh, leave the Tai without an, an, a means out. Uh, I finally managed to find you all. All of you, don't worry. I will protect you for a period of time. I will enter closed door protect, uh, closed door cultivation here and protect you for some time. If there's anything you do not understand on your path of cultivation, uh, do not hesitate and just ask me. Okay, I'm going to make some changes here. I'm gonna try an episode with the music. So it feels like it's not just music. That. Okay, let's pause the thing here. I think I need time to figure out what to do. Um, what's the exclamation mark for? I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Let's. Have... 角色面板上显示了角色的饥饿度、情绪值等基本状态。玩家还可以通过角色面板上的互动按钮对该角色发布直接的命令。Oh boy, it looks like there's some kind of mini tutorial in here as well. So maybe I shouldn't have gone through the full tutorial. 
Okay, uh, the character information page shows the character's hunger, emotion, and basic attributes and states. Uh, the players can go through the buttons there to issue direct commands to the character. Okay. I think firstly. Let's... Okay, uh, well, this is in the tutorial. You know, players can use the bar below to select the harvesting command, and single click will just target that one thing and you know, drag and cover the thing if an batch thing. Let's get this. This is probably something important, so I should not cut this. Um, I think let's kind of scout out the area around us. The pause function is definitely useful. Okay. What else can we do? Can we build? We can't build. Okay, let's just let it proceed first. Okay, okay, it's snowing. Uh, oh, okay, let's see what this frogs. Uh, hunt frogs, okay. You have issued an order, and this order can be done in a batch. Uh, many orders can be done in batch. You can just double click or hold shift to select many. Okay. Okay, when you select an item, you can, based on the interface, you can see, you can select the buttons there to select, to send out the relevant commands. When you hover your mouse over the thing, you can also check the detailed information. So with this, this is an old box. I can search the old box. Uh, one of my characters found an old box. He searched the old box and found several useful items. Okay, I know. Um, I found 60 blue cloth. <laughs> How is that useful? I don't know. One of my characters need a hunting tool. I unfortunately do not know what I can do with that. I don't think I have a hunting tool. There's a box, I can open it. On the night of the set getting destroyed, you discovered that the restrictions on the hidden scripture pavilion is broken. You cannot help robbing that place of some of its treasures and did your best to enter, then you took away some precious secret manuals in a box. Open it up. And you found a bunch of books basically of different techniques. Uh, soul searching technique, uh, something shocking, shock wave, something secret. And then... Okay, yep. Well, different techniques basically, just know it as that. Next, water. What is this? Herbs. Spirit stone.
Oh, that's the view button. 建筑面板，查看当前可见的建筑，并发布建筑命令。随着游戏历程的推进，会解锁更多的建筑。注意，部分建筑需要工作点，摆放建筑时要注意给工作点留出空间。You can select the building, the building um manual to see what the buildings you can build and issue building commands. As the game progresses, you will unlock even more buildings. Be careful; all these require work points. Um, you're placing buildings. Do pay attention to allocate time, time, uh, time to build them. Okay. I think this is important. We need a fire. That's all I can build for now, right? You 建造了一个生产建筑。打开该建筑的生产列表，可以发布生产命令。玩家可以对生产队列中的物品进行置顶、循环制作等操作。Okay. So, uh, firstly, let's look at the tutorial below there. Um, you have built a a production building, and when you can open up the building to open the menu to issue production orders, players can um uh, set it to produce certain amount or re on repeat. Okay, now first one on top here. The warm fire scatters your fatigue and uh, and restlessness. After a short discussion, you feel that you should have already escaped from danger and decided to build a temporary camp here. You have unlocked well. Uh, certain organizational buildings, basic house furniture, basic uh workstation, uh floor and roof. Okay, that is uh very important. Okay, very good, very good. So let's see. Firstly, let's designate this area as a storehouse. You 规划了一片仓库。角色会将物品搬运到仓库进行储藏，玩家可以配置仓库的筛选规则，以实现物品的分类储存。Alright, you have designated an storehouse zone. Characters will place items in the storehouse to store, and uh, you can also use the menu here to uh designate what other items you want to place in there. Dang, I shouldn't have played through the tutorial. Okay, I think a farm is going to be quite useful. Let's place maybe a farm here first. You 规划了一片农田，可以选种农田来指定该区域种植的作物。不同植物的生长需要不同的土壤肥力、温度、光照等条件。关注植物的需求，并尝试让农田的条件更适合植物生长。So you designate the farm area. You can select to plant various farm, different uh, various plants. Different plants require different uh fertility of the land, temperature, light, and other conditions. And yeah, basically just play around with the plants thing. Okay, good. So I mean, cultivation point. Let's put one. Oh wait, I just need to click. Okay, I just put three there, four there first. Even though I only got three people. Okay, life. Let's see, no materials. Can harvest some rock. Can hunt this thing. What is he doing? Sleeping. All right, I'm on times two speed. I forgot. Let's put it at time five speed so that you know they move all the way. How many days have I been? Am I a second day? Okay. So over here it says uh the year two hundred and forty six of heaven, spring day ten. Okay, they're awake. Good. Set them to normal time for now. Ooh, what the heck is this? Hmm, interesting.
suppose we need to chop more tree, we need to scout out further. That's actually not too big, right? You have a character who is injured. The player can check the character's health and check the character's health. The character's health and the character's health are the same. The character's health and the character's health are the same. If the character's health and the character's health are not good, please try to change these conditions. Okay, basically, I accidentally clicked the way, but basically, uh, what it says is that I got, uh, uh, one of my disciples got injured and I need to deal with it. You opened the character's character. From this character, you can check the character's character's character and character. As the level of the character's character, the character's character's character will also change. After the character's character, you can open the character's character. So, you know, you open the character's cultivation page and you can see the related cultivation information and states. As your cultivation increases, there will be changes to this. As you gain cultivation methods, there will be... Now you can open certain things, yeah. More importantly, this is the dude I have, right? You opened the character's emotions section. In this section, you can check the character's emotions at the time. They usually react to the character's needs. To make the character perform well, please pay attention to the character's emotions to satisfy their needs. Well, basically, emotion speech. We run through this in the uh, thing, equipment page. You uh, the health page. the health page. You the health page. You can the health page. You the health page. You can the health page. You can the the health page. You the health page. You can the health page. You the health page. You the health page. You the health page. You can the health page. You the health page. the the His spine is injured at uh, 39.3%. It affects his movement. Uh, and it will heal itself over time. Over 1.2 days, but I don't want that to happen, do I? So what I need to do is I need to select my fella. And uh, for the life of me, I cannot recall how to heal someone. When a character has succeeded in becoming a member of the player, you can set up a member of the player. The player can set up a member of the player to set up a member of the player, to set up a member of the player, to set up a member of the player. Okay, so basically when the character finishes their foundational stage and becomes an InnoSec disciple, you can open up this page and establish the sec and manage the sec. So that's not really something I can do right now. You see what I mean? I kind of forgot how to heal people already. Huh. Wait, seriously, how do I heal again? I completely forgot. Didn't I... Didn't I give him a healing skill? Okay, these are these five here.
Wait, do I click this then? It feels like it's getting worse. Or is it supposed to reach 100%? Okay, let's wait there first and let me see if I can figure out healing from here. Okay, well, uh, there's going to be a bunch of things here that I'm going to take some time to read through. So, uh, looking at the time now, I think I have pretty much come to the end of this episode. Uh, before I go off, you know, ch uh, shameless plugs, check out Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation at HostedNovel.com. Uh, you know, it's a cultivation novel, which is probably why you guys end up here in the first place. And also, uh, if you'd like to support me, you can do so on my Patreon. It's for, for either the novel translations or this uh gameplays and finally check out my merch store as well and uh, everything is a link in the description below and with that i'll bid you guys adios and uh you know subscribe to the channel if you have not liked the video if you liked it and ding the notification bell if you'd like to get notifications ciao